On February 17, 2013, just hours after the death of Olivia Dunley in a suspicious house fire, detectives speak again with Olivia's boyfriend, Darren Murphy. Darren was with Olivia on the night of the fire, but officers have come across inconsistencies in his statement. And we went down, and the detective sergeants that went down were highly experienced, and they cautioned Darren at the scene, because they have to caution him, ask him a question, write down his reply, and ask him to sign it, because that's then admissible in evidence under the laws of evidence in courts. And the team knew this. And it's when he said to them, listen, oh, I might have given you the wrong set of clothes, and they cautioned him and said, listen, we want you to sign that reply, that he said, no, listen, I killed Olivia. Darren Murphy confesses and gives investigators details of the attack. His version of events is that he had gone out with Olivia, that they did have a row in the taxi, that the row continued when he went into the house. She went up to the bedroom. He followed her upstairs. He, the row continued and he got up and I suppose straddled her and tried to smother her. And she pleaded for him, to him, to remember my children. What about my children? She knew she was in trouble. And this is his version of events. He says there was a knife by the bed and that he stabbed her. He then says, listen, he set fire. He tried to set the fire downstairs. He took her car from the scene and removed his own car. He threw her car, her car keys into a stream near the hotel. He drove back by the scene and saw the house in flames and went to his own house and then got the call and then came to the scene. It later emerged that he hadn't gone home, that he had gone up to a hill overlooking the, um, the estate and had watched the fire take hold from there. There was a member sent to recover the, or to photograph the recovery of the keys and the, the car that was found near the Rochestown Inn. So that, that was done. That car then was towed to a secure unit that we have for examination at, at, a, at a later time. Murphy tells officers where they can find the clothes he was wearing during the murder. We were made aware of the fact that the clothes had been taken from, from Darren Murphy. We sent a member to Darren Murphy's house and he seized the clothes. Now, initially, Darren Murphy had said he'd put them under the decking in the back, but that he'd moved them to a crawl space um, in, in one of the bedrooms upstairs. They were recovered from the crawl space by one of my colleagues. Darren Murphy is charged with Olivia Dunley's murder and taken into custody. Darren is then formally charged at the Gad station. He's taken to Cork District Court, and because it's a charge of murder, he can only be given bail in the High Court, so he's remanded in custody. Olivia's family are still reeling from the discovery of her body when the call comes in that alerts them about Darren Murphy's arrest. He was arrested at night. Actually, Michelle rang Amanda. I think, was, I think Amanda said 10 past 11 Sunday night that he was arrested. And sure, we didn't know what to do. We were still in shock over her dying, like. They said they found a knife, like, and I think there was little bits in the paper, like, that there was a knife found at the scene. I was kind of thinking, like, OK, look, just wear it and you're told officially and see what happens after that, you know? So then we were told, like, that, no, not in detail, but we were told that she was after being murdered. That they told us that an arrest had been made, but we just knew. We just... We were looking at each other, just saying we knew it, like... You know, we just... It, was no, it wasn't a big, huge shock to us that he had been arrested. Olivia's family are able to tell investigators about her relationship with Darren Murphy. Olivia knew Darren Murphy for a few years, just through friends, but um, they were in a relationship then. Like, they were only with each other for a few weeks. When you meet someone like that, that's with your daughter, right? I mean, the first time I saw him, I was thinking, like, 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 what's she doing with him? But then again, you have to trust your daughter, like. You know, I was saying, well, she must see stuff in him that I don't see. Or maybe he's all right, I don't know. Could, do you judge a book by his cover? Because he definitely doesn't look like someone that you've gone to wrong, you know? 